Okay, Blitz. We just have to herd these Brontos down the mountain. And that's as easy as falling off a T-Rex for you, John. <laughs> Get along, you big old Brontos! have you picked so far? Well, that one and... Hang on. <whistles> About a gazillion more. <laughs> Good morning, Clover. And you too, Tiny. Come on, you two. There's plenty to do on the ranch today. Oh. are cute. on the job. Sad. A big brontosaur like you needs lots of shade on a day like this, don't you? I have an idea. Let's make him a bigger, better place to keep cool. Yeah, a shady spot big enough for a big, friendly brontosaur. Let's do this! Yeehaw! Mr. Brontosaur, over here! <laughs> Miguel, it's perfect. Thanks. 
and the cooling features all run on dinosaur power. Grandpa fix a barn today? There's no better teacher than your Grandpa Goliath. He's built every barn on Dino Ranch. All right then, let's get it done. Careful, Clover. Those logs are mighty heavy. Dino Ranchers, we're ready to raise the new roof. Stand back, everyone. The roof is ready, Pa. Let's add it to the barn. Yeehaw! The rope is locked. Goliath, give it all you got. Upstream of that same creek is the Brontosaurus's favorite watering spot. This dry spell's made the water level a bit lower than usual. It's a good thing Brontos have such long necks. But these baby Brontos necks aren't long enough to reach the water. Howdy, Rancheroos! Are you ready for us to bring the rest of the Bronto herd over? Not yet, Pa. The water level is low and the young ones can't reach the creek. Their necks are too short. <laughs> This is bad, very bad. Oh no, there's the baby Pronto. It must have run off. And the mommy is very upset. Gotta catch that baby, fast! Min, you and Miguel stop the Bronto parents. I'll wrangle their baby. Wait, if we move too fast, we'll scare him and he'll fall into the tar pit. Slow and steady is the only way to save him. 
It's okay. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Your baby is safe. Clover and John know what to do. You're safe now. <laughs> Hear about this. 